while I am working on a future project which involves a dozens of 18650 lithium ion cell for which I need a battery spot welder which are expensive and not really difficult to build one so in this video tutorial I will show you how I made a DIY battery spot welder using a high current transformer This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They are known for high quality PCB prototype manufacturing. You can order 2 to 6 layer PCB from their website. To see production in progress, you just have to click one button. And build time is only 24 hours for 2 layer PCB. Check them out, link is in the video description. The star of this project is this high current transformer, which I made using a microwave transformer in a previous video. So it is highly recommended to watch that video first. For spot welding, first we need to control the amount of time transformer is on, which means when we weld, it will be on only for a fraction of a second, allowing current to flow and fuse to metal surfaces. For such applications, we could use IC555 timer, but since we are working with AC and not DC, we can't use it, as our transformer works with much higher voltage and it's AC. For such application, we use an relay, which is basically an AC switch. So I came up with this circuit. In this circuit, I have used two relays in combination with a capacitor and a switch. When power is connected, this DC power source charges the capacitor. If switch is pressed, it activates the relay 1 and the charge of capacitor activates the relay 2. Since capacitor can hold a very few amount of energy, it quickly discharges and relay 2 turns off. The amount of time relay 2 is on will depend on this capacitor and the output of relay 2 is connected to the transformer. And that's how we spot weld by turning on transformer only for a fraction of a second. And since I had schematic already ready, I made PCB layout for it and ordered my PCB through glcpcb.com. Once I received my PCB, I started soldering all the components. There was nothing really much to solder except for two relays and four screw terminals. I used screw terminals because if I want to change the capacitor value, it will be much easier for me. Once PCB was ready, before connecting it to the transformer, I tested it with a small LED and it did work. Next, I took some 35 square millimeter wire and extended the output wires of the transformer since they were too short to work with. After which I bought some hose clip which we'll be using in a bit and then I sliced about an inch of insulation of transformer so that I can insert 2.5 square millimeter wire which was about 2 inches long. After covering it with some electrical tape, I used hose clip to hold it in together and used zip ties to hold both the ends of the transformer together to make an arm for the spot welder. Once that was complete, I took this scrap piece of wood that I had lying around which was just perfect for the size of this transformer. So I mounted the transformer using some screws and used hot glue to mount the PCB and the battery on it. Finally, I connected this battery to the circuit and for testing purpose I connected 47 microfarad capacitor to the circuit and brought this switch to which first I connected the wires and connected the switch to the circuit and turned on the main supply and this project was complete. For the first test with 47 microfarad capacitor, welds were too weak and I was able to break them very easily. So I added another capacitor of 100 microfarad in parallel with the 47 microfarad capacitor and this combination worked flawlessly. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one.